USA Boxing now has allowed a new transgender policy which will uh, enable biological men to compete against women in the ring. Um, Brian Brenberg, co-host of The Big Money Show on Fox Business, Fox's contributor Joe Conti here to talk about it. Both are boxers in their own right. Yeah, right. I mean, men and women in the ring, what could go wrong, Joe? What could go wrong? <sighs> Here's the thing. My wife was a Division I athlete at Georgetown, hmm. right? She's not a political person in any way, shape, or form. She's too busy taking care of my kids, doing the doctor thing. But when it comes to this topic, suddenly the mood, face, and passion completely comes to the forefront. And she makes a very good argument. And that is, if you ban steroids or HGH being used by Division I athletes, professional mm -hmm. athletes, because it gives them a chemical and biological advantage, then how do you not do the same for the chemical and biological advantage that we see when men compete against women, especially mm -hmm. boxing, by the way? You know how many deaths there have been in boxing in the history of the sport? Nearly 2,000, either in the ring or sustained after the fact, and you're going to put women in there with men? It's a whole bowl of wrong, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to me, this isn't a complicated question. No. It's like, shouldn't happen. So I, what, are we, what am I missing? Uh, well, this is the problem with a topic like this. You, you, you don't even know how to answer it in some ways because yeah. you're like, are you kidding me? Boxing inherently is about violence. The idea is to incapacitate your opponent as quickly as possible. And anybody knows who's played a sport like that, played college football, when you come at somebody, I don't care what kind of treatments you've had or what kind of appendages you have, you are going to harm them by design. So like that's the that's the thing here. It's harm that's that going to happen. Show, I should have done this before. This is what USA Boxing says is the eligibility requirements for transgender female boxers. You have to have completed gender reassignment surgery, quarterly hormone testing for a minimum of four years after surgery, total testosterone level must remain at a certain level. And it's just, it's all, it's all nonsense. It's called it, no, it, nano yeah, whatever, whatever that's called. <laughs> whatever, that, whatever that is. You know, South what Park this? predicted oh this like five years yes, ago. Yes, they had a great like, macho man, Randy Savage, <laughs> yes. going in and kicking everyone's butt. Yes. And you're like, yeah, that would be stupid. That's good for comedy. And now we're living the comedy. Right. How are we even debating this at this point? You can't debate. <laughs> What's your well, wife, I think that we have to, though. Say when you get but we have now. to because I think what, you, what your wife is saying is that who's standing up for the women? I mean, Riley Gaines. I mean, well, right. okay, but who's standing up for Riley Gaines? Not too many no other one. people. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So nobody on the left is willing to get out and say that, except for like Maria Navratilova. So, yeah, well, all of these female athletes Riley have made says a bunch. it'll take a woman getting killed before these right. misogynistic fools wake up. That's mm. right. Sage Steele has also been very vocal. Uh, she's out at ESPN now because she was told to shut but, up about right. this topic. But don't you think the guys ought to get in on this yes, too? Yes, of course. Say, the like, dads hey, in guys, particular. don't do it. Right. Right. Compete with guys. Right. Just like, do that. That's like the honorable thing to do, the right thing to Imagine do. How would guys say that? I thought it was uh, April Fool's thing here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. like Babylon Bee stuff. Is the right onion, the, is the onion yeah. still in business? Right, it, exactly. Yes, and the Babylon Bee. They had a great one yesterday, I have to say. All right, thanks, guys. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.